Yeah, this is a, <laughs> another lesson I feel like my channel is on. Don't do what Jen does. But I am still planting dahlias here. Um, I, this is where the ranunculus and the anemone were. Um, so I, the, I, I had just cleaned up the rows and I realized I didn't plant my burgundy dahlias. So I thought, oh, I'll plant in here. This is where I had a few dahlias last year and these two survived. Um, and I, so I didn't, I thought I'll just fill the row with dahlias. And then I just prepped all four rows because I still have dahlias in the barn. And I thought, why not throw them in? Um, dahlias should be planted like for sure a month ago, maybe two months ago, you could, if the ground is warm enough, you can plant them, but um, it's July. <laughs> but I thought either I compost the tubers or I just take a couple hours and I'm gonna fill these rows up with some of the varieties I love and the faster growing ones. And I actually have a few varieties I didn't plant because I don't love them, but I might just stick them in because maybe they'll change my mind this year. I have always planted, this kind of succession planted my dahlias. And I do like having a fresh batch of dahlias to, um, to uh, cut off of. This is my, my first bed that we planted and they're coming along quite nicely. Oh, there's a weed. Um, there's buds, but I have to like pinch them yet so we get better, better side shoots. But I'm happy, they look good. And uh, these will hopefully look good in September. Okay, the first row of zinnias are weeded. Um, it was not too bad because I had used grass clippings as the mulch and that worked great. I've never tried it before and I hope that I have grass clippings for many years to do or at least some kind of mulch to get on there because where I had mulched fairly heavily, there was minimal weeds. It, the zinnias are very happy. Um, there was this piece uh, along uh, in the middle of this row on either side of the path that I had ran out of grass clippings um, and some of it wasn't spread very thick so the weeds definitely came through there and that was probably where I spent most of my time and was the most annoying part um, but yeah I think the zinnias don't mind um, they were all the rows were color coordinated I had one color and then another color um, but especially this first row the cutworm kept eating them so then I would just go seed another tray and fill in the holes um, so it's a multicolored row. This is mostly the salmon and the white, which I love these two colors. And then I'm trying a new kind there. Um, but they look good. I'm desperate for flowers this week for market. So I'm hoping uh, to at least get a few more short stems. Um, I got like a handful last week. So I'm hoping for a few handfuls this week. And then I think in a week or two where we should be humming. Yeah, I love zinnias with no weeds poking at the top. Now I just got to clean up the paths and then, uh, yeah, we're good to go.
supposed to be a full row of straw flower. Um, but this was the first row the cutworm ate early this spring. Um, so this is what's left. I just put compost on it last night and I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna fill it with celosia. Um, at least so I don't have an empty row and I didn't want to kill off the few plants I had by tarping the row. Um, so it's one handful. Okay, I made it to another market. I don't know, is this week five or, I don't know if it's week six. It is so hot today. I feel like I wore a dark shirt and I'm sweating. Anyways, I'm also fairly embarrassed as a, uh, yeah, I'm a flower farmer. I feel like I work really hard, but my booth is like half full. Um, it's partly due to the season in between peonies and then, um, yeah, the zinnias, lysanthus. Um, and it's also partly due to the cutworm taking out my snapdragons. It'd be really nice to have buckets and buckets of snapdragons, but I'm trying to be okay with this. Uh, I think I have enough for most people, and this is usually um, a slower time for flowers. People are on holidays, just coming off of Canada weekend. So, okay, hope for good sales. Uh, I want to sell out, but also not sell out until near the end. We'll see. So I'm ending my week uh, where I was supposed to start. I, I don't know, I just don't wanna weed this. It takes so long. I just wanna do other things where I feel like I'm actually accomplishing something. And the sad part is there's a whole nother flush of weeds coming. I really can't wait to, hopefully in a few years, uh, my beds are easier to weed and I can maybe get down on my weed bank seed and that there's just less germinating all the time. Arg. But um, yeah, it was a good week. Um, it's ending the week, it's super hot. I, market was hot, I can feel it coming today. It's just a real humid um, heat out here. So I should get going so I can take a break during the middle of the day. Um, yeah, we did sales, okay. I didn't sell out at market. Uh, by far the most popular item was the peonies. I had one last designer order this week and so I always save some extra ones. So I use those extra ones at market and they were very popular. Um, so I don't know, maybe I didn't sell out because my other bouquets weren't as nice or I actually think it's just the time of the year. Sales are always a little bit lower um, in July, especially the beginning of the July because it's the very beginning of holidays here in Ontario. School just got out last week and it's also attached to Canada Day weekend this week so I think people take their long weekend and go camping and um, somewhere for holidays so yeah but I was I was still happy I was happy with the sales and a lot of my regulars that were in town still came so yeah it's a good week um, 
I'm going to stop talking and, and finish this so that uh, I can move on to some more fun jobs. But thanks for hanging out with me and hope to see you again next time. This is a good day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can't